welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. I always thank God for you because of His grace given you in Christ Jesus. Yes, I always thank God for you. Thank God that the God is so gracious to you. The grace that He had given you in Christ Jesus. See, that grace is even our salvation. See, we are saved by grace. See, it's not of works. It's not by our effort. And we are living by the grace of God. So every day, friends, when you wake up, it's just by the grace of God. The grace that was given you in Christ Jesus. And it is the Lord Jesus Christ that had promised never to leave us, not to forsake us. It is Him that promised that, yes, the thief does not come, but to steal, to kill, and to to destroy but he said I have come that you might have life and have it to the full so friends I thank God for you for your faithfulness see you're reading scripture every day you're listening to the voice of the Lord every day friends it's just by the grace of God not a lot of people would want to listen but the grace of God is overflowing in you so that you desire more of him See, you appreciate what Jesus has done in you and what he is doing through you. And so every time that I remember you, friends, I just thank God for the grace that you have received. Hallelujah. And of course, I'm encouraged always also to serve because of what I see in you. See, you are growing in the faith. You are growing in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, not by effort, not by might, not by power, but by the grace of God. See, in everything that we do, friends, we need the Lord. We need to do it in faith. Remember what uh, even the Apostle Paul had said, that whatever things we do without faith is sin. See, that's why we have to have faith in everything that we do. Even as simple as eating and drinking, do it in faith so that it shall be pleasing before God. So, friends, my prayer is that you'll continue to walk faithfully before God every day that He may sustain you with His loving care, that He may continue to show you and favor you in all areas of your life, in the struggles that you're in, friends. May the grace of God come and sustain you, that His healing grace might come to heal you, that His provision will come to provide, that He will meet all your needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus. Friends, all these things, my prayer is that indeed you will overflow with the love and the grace of God, that joy and peace will pervade your heart, that Jesus will always be acclaimed as Lord and Savior of your life. Again, friends, May the Lord bless you. And I rejoice. I rejoice, friends, because of the love that you have in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.